Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to beat or just generally avoid all the horrible creatures and pressure to get yourself an easy victory. For starters, I do like to buy two medkits and three of these code breakers. You don't need the code breakers or always the medkits, to be honest. I'm just, I, I don't know, it feels safer having a good amount of protection. Leave a like on the video because we're hopping right into it. If you don't leave a like, I'll probably put witchcraft on your family. So, all right, let's roll. Store one, you should know what to do, basically. I'm just here to cover ways to avoid the monsters. Also, I'm going to be avoiding most of the cabinets for this just because there's pretty much no need to check every... I'm doing it right now out of freaking habit, but I guess you do need some money together if you want to rebuy some stuff from the giant snake, dude. But otherwise... See, I regret coming in here with this now. I'm just going to get up to about 200 bucks and then just grab whatever's on top of cabinets after. I just want to be able to buy back what I need. Plus, there's always tons of stuff still on top of things. All right. When the lights flicker, that means the angler is on the way. Still probably like the best angler to have coming for you. The worst one doesn't even flicker the freaking lights. You just have to hear the noise. I like to get in last seconds because you can't stand there for that long. And sometimes they freaking bait you. And, I don't know. It's a horrible situation. Everything going good so far. Okay, we've got the angler coming and two door options, which means one of them is a death trap. But first we got to hide from the stupid fish. Hey, God. Okay, he's passed. It seems silly, but that's like my number one way I've died the most is the fish going past you and then circling back last second. It's so freaking mean. <laughs> into the darkness. Careful shining a light into the darkness. In my opinion, it's better just to walk into the darkness. Because if you trigger one of those tall black figures, they are going to beat the crap out of you. Those like squid light -like guys with those weird appendages. Watch out for conducted water. No! Angler! No! Then I walk in the electricity. That's so stupid, bro. It's so stupid. I can't believe I just did that. that was so... I'm only human, okay? All right. I have a very short attention span. I mean span. All right. I'm sure my wares will be of use. Here we have our buddy. I'm gonna use up one of our med kits so I can buy a freaking another one right here. Should have used up more stuff altogether. I see that now. Get the blue key card, buy whatever I need. I don't really need... I was hoping he'd have one of those other cooler flashlights that just flashes stuff. The gummy light. Hey, why not? Oh, God. Pissed off shark incoming. <laughs> this one's a pain, but you just gotta wait it out. There's like multiple lights you can shine at this fish that makes it go away. At least one of them. The one I was trying to buy, but, uh, but I don't have it on me. Plus, it's really not so bad. It's, it's, it's kind of a pain, but it's whatever. Okay, this one's got a monster because I can freaking hear it from over here. Usually, I can't hear it from that far away. That monster must be absolutely terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Man, this crap is pure anxiety. No matter how many times you do it, it never gets easier. Unbelievable. Okay, here a monster, and that one's got a monster. So we go to this one, which I'm using this for. Because I'm too lazy to check every single cabinet in here. These ones are easy when the room's flooded. You just always have one of these bad boys over here, which any numbskull could figure out. How do I do this? Boom! And then the rest goes down. That took me longer than I care to admit. <laughs> Sweet! I found another key card while looking for the freaking... Man, I can't have a single moment of joy around here. Whoa! This room's trippy, bro. Haven't been in this room before. Holy crap. <laughs> what the hell happened here? What is the logic behind this room? Because, like, reality isn't shifting this place, I don't think, right? It's all, like, stuff that was purposely built. What was the plan there? Oh, my God, that's crazy. But this next part, you just want to freaking get each of the generators turned on without alerting the fish monster of your presence. Or it sucks you up and eats you. Like this guy's body. Avoid the orange light for the love of God. There's plenty of shelter in here to hide behind. Oh! freaking game man there's usually a couple right by spawn which is a good quick way to get a few because the dude loops around the map quick as crap and if he looks at you for more than a second you just get dead bro where is he where is he i think we have time for one more go quick every time you miss the loop you die a little inside <laughs> all right time to camp out by these cabinets till he goes by the front light's not an issue it's the back light that gets you Usually he's got these active spotlight searchers on the back. Oh god, 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 oh 
That would have sucked. Woo! Efficiency. Now let's get the crap out of here before he loops back around. Hopefully we could make it without going for cover. Yeah, we'll be fine. These guys just scare the crap out of me. Open the door! All right. As you get closer to the end, those freaking angler fish start circling around more and more and more, and that crap is just, just terrifying, bro. Oh, All right, here we have door 100. Head on down to here, la di da. This is nice because once these gates start opening and closing behind you, you know no monster is gonna get in behind you. It's just the most reassuring thing. Although you're not done, not even close to done. So epic though, going in with the crystal. So very uh infinity stony you know what i mean these extra layers of protection sure as crap make me feel safe but then once you take the crystal it's not safe at all anymore it's a vicious game i have to freaking jangle both my freaking flashlights there it is the big money Whatcha? all right let's go ahead and hit the shizzle I'm delirious right now. I haven't slept in like a week. Sure is beautiful though. But yeah, don't let this joyous moment fool you. You are not even close to done yet, buddy. Hardest part still coming. That crap looks so cancerous to hold in your hands. Buddy is not gonna have kids now. Whatcha? All right. Now the game really begins. Now you have to escape. The issue with the end is these guys. You gotta do it last second because this sucker might come back multiple times. I think it just loops around in the end nonstop. But it sucks for you. Because that's where you're at. Another door. Stay near the cabinets for the love of God. So you know what you're dealing with. Stay near a cabinet. I don't have a cabinet. I don't have a cabinet. <laughs> of course, you do get two lives, but damn, dude, so, so, so close. stupid. You nearly had it. I know, I know, I should have stayed in your cabinet. It's fine, we got two lives. Get my stuff back. That was embarrassing. Is he gonna come back again, though? Because we're supposed to go this way, not the way I went prior. Silly me. Go cabinet to cabinet, bro. I still almost don't trust it. Yep, here he comes. Just wait till it comes by. <laughs> till you don't. Till you walk past the cabinets. Don't leave yet. You might come back. Okay, it didn't come back. You're safe to go to the other door. This cabinet's right here, but even making it that far is so freaking hard sometimes with these guys. Cabinet. Oh, there's this SOB. Hang on. The freaking wall person. Watch out for him. You do need a key card for this room, so start searching cabinets as you pass them. Okay, we've entered another part. We can finally close that crap behind us. Thank the heavens. On to the even more difficult part. Whee! Fun times all around. All right, here we are. In the shizzle. There's the world out there. All right, now we've got to go repair cables without getting spotted by the giant tentacle monsters. But this time, you got to deal with freaking three of them instead of one of them. And it's just, it's just the worst, bro. Oh, God, I just remembered part of this. All right, here we are. We've gotten to the shizzle. It's so much blurrier than normal right now. Hopefully it clears up in a bit. I don't remember it being this blurry. No, I used the battery. I panicked. All right. It's so much blurrier than I remember it. Okay, so it starts out with just one of them, luckily. Basically, just go green bit to green bit for shelter, repairing these bad boys as you cross them. But some are very far out there into the ocean. You'll notice I'm being very slow and careful with it. That's how you want to live life. 
Okay, I'm going for the shelter down here. In the rubble. And now you just follow the green things to have any electric cords that you can find. While watching out for the demons. But there's only one right now. There's going to be three in a minute. Alright, there's two. Here's three. Keep a lookout for when the others start spawning out. I think they should be here already. I'm being so skittish not to mess this up because... It's a very diary-infused part of your life. Okay, he's coming this way, not risking it. Oh, third one's here. Okay, here's our last one. Oh, I should have done it. Hesitated. Okay, then you gotta make your way over to the center. Oh God, I'm pushing it right now. Pushing it big time right now. Holy crap, all right. Then you gotta make your way over onto the center over here and activate the freaking cannon. Which leaves you pretty much out in the open momentarily. Where's the other one? Okay, he's over there. All right, so this is our chance to do the stuff. Activate. All right, sweets. I wonder if it's safe for me to try and get out of here right now. Nope, not even a little. Oh my God. Where's shelter? Okay, here's shelter. Nice. Now we make our way back towards the entrance. Still have the hardest freaking part to go, funny enough. Okay, the cannon's firing, lighting up the area. Pretty beautiful. Firing what? I don't know. Okay, we need to get to that yellow light. No, wait, where do we go? I think it's back here. Okay, back into the tunnel where we came from. Nice, nice, nice. Here's what I hate about this and why I would want to have some words with one of the developers this part right here bro they all line up right on this little short tunnel spot and you gotta just figure out how to freaking get past all their all their spotlights there are a few places for shelter though so just like wait it out for the perfect opportunity like this right when one of them goes to the side they've spotted me no! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was it. That was the last freaking bit. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> that was it. That was all I had to do. Okay, I'm back in here freaking like an hour later just to show exactly how to finish this perfectly without dying. All I had to do was wait a second. See, just wait till right now. All the lights go to the side. It's so freaking easy. All I had to do was wait half a second. And then just hide under here for shelter while the lights all do their thing. It gives you such a vast opening. Yeah, they just see you for a second, but once you get in there, there's absolutely no issue. I can't believe I just had to redo this all just for this right now. You'll notice I'm pretty damaged up. I didn't even grab any items for this. I was so sick of it. I just wanted to complete this easy for this video to show you guys. This is literally all you have to do to avoid every single monster in this entire game. Right here, it looks like you're going to die, but you're not, dude. The freaking stuff just collapses on top of it. Easy peasy. Oh my god, I can't believe I just died at the last seconds. But yes, this is a full tutorial on how to avoid just about every single monster. If you hear an angler come and get in a thing, if you hear footsteps come and turn around, if you hear growling through a door, don't freaking go through it, and don't step into the spotlights in this end mission. Just like wait for your opening. After that, it's pretty much just like a game of patience. Just, just be patient and it's actually not that difficult. I know that's stupid for me to say considering I just died doing this in a whole tutorial on how to do it easy, which is the dumbest thing you could possibly do but other than that ending you gotta admit it was going down pretty perfectly i just got impatience don't ever get impatient and then basically the submarine just comes and picks you up and you're basically all hunky dory good to go i'm so mad at myself dude this was the easiest run through for this tutorial like <laughs> this is the easiest video ever and then i just got impatient at the end it was it was so good it was going so clean it was like the easiest walk through this game's not even difficult i just got impatient bro so stupid so unbelievably stupid and right here is where the submarine comes against you pretty freaking awesome and that's how you beat pressure easy peasy just ignore the part where i died like a dumb idiot it was so avoidable and there you go